Friends, this is clear lens phaco. The patient is highly myopic and LASIK is contraindicated in this case. In this case, clear lens phaco is my first option and phagi chival second option. Let us see how we can do this. Viscoelastic substance has been injected. Visco is applied over the corneal epithelium. And now, two paracentesis. This is a paracentesis on the right side of the main incision. And this is another paracentesis on the left side of the main incision. And now, capsulorexis. The anticapsule is incised. A capsular tag is raised. Now I use a uterator forceps, hold this capsular tag, and in a very controlled way. In this case, I am going to do a rexis of about 5.5 millimeter. The patient is a uh, 22 years old lady and we have planned monovision for this lady. This eye is targeted emetropic and the other eye myopic. Hydro dissection has been done and now some visco is injected into the anterior chamber and now see how can remove remove this clear lens the phaco handpiece is introduced bevel is towards the nuclear mass towards the lens mass and being over the lens mass just apply vacuum no energy is required and most of the lens matter comes out we didn't do a complete hydro dissection because if we do hydrodissection the whole thing tends to come into the anterior chamber and there is a lot of stress at the rexis margin sometimes in on case the rexis margin gave away and it can be easily removed in this way I'm using a 23 gauze simco you can use a bimanual if you don't like this instrument The lens material is removed and now some lens fibers are sticking to the posterior capsule. So the posterior capsule has to be polished very nicely. And what is hydro polish? You use fluid jet to polish the posterior capsule. We'll do that after implanting the intraocular lens. And this is a hydrophobic monofocal aspheric intraocular lens. This is Technis 1 from Abbott Medical Optics. This is a 6.5 diopter lens and the target refraction is minus 0 0.25 adapter. We have a optical biometer, Lenster from Hawk Street. And now the posterior capsule is being polished by the fluid jet. The antechamber is also thoroughly irrigated so that all the viscoelastic substance comes out. And now this is moxifloxacin. Now the side ports are closed by corneal stromal hydration 
on either side of these step wounds. And now, you can see the left side port is large because the eyeball turned sharply. And now this is the final lavage of the anterior chamber. The anterior chamber is irrigated thoroughly. The anterior chamber is formed nicely and the case is concluded. Dear colleagues, thank you very much for your attention. I think this is a good option for patients who are not suitable for LASIK, clear lens FACO with intraocular lens implantation. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will encourage you to do clear lens FACO.